And so you can see it's got an electromagnet in it and that's kind of how this works. This is a magnetic type flasher. These are the best you can get. Also, made in the USA. Alright, and I think this is also an American flasher. Uh, I put this in last summer, I think. I can't remember. Alright, no Chinese junk here. Okay. There we go. Huh. Huh. That's not good. Part of the fuse panel is broke. It kind of sucks, actually. Yeah, see? I'll have to work on it sometime. Okay. Well, let's try it out. Hmm. It's actually about the same. But you can see it actually working. You can see how it works. Anyways. Uh, okay, uh, that's about it. TGIF. Yay. Okay, well, we're done. Let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching. While I was here, I decided I would go ahead and replace this stock um, 552 uh, four-way flasher with this one, <coughs> excuse me, that I'd had. Why in the hell uh, they decided to, Ford had decided to put the four-way flasher on the passenger side is beyond me. But then again, that's who we're talking about, Ford. Some of the things they do doesn't make the most of sense. And I am going to attempt to plug this in with one hand. Can I do it? Uh, probably not. Oh, here we go. Hmm, I'll do that again if you want me to. I can plug it in, but I can't unplug it. How about that? There we go. I have unplugged it. Hmm. Plugged it in with one hand. All right. Useless information. And now, I don't know how I'm going to attach it. Huh. I guess I'll tape it up here or zip tie it to a wire or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's try it and see if it works. And we just pull four ways on, and you hear it clicking away. Oh, all right, well, that takes care of that. Okay, we're done. Thanks for watching.